Exercise number six, inner thigh stretch. You know the drill, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Stretching your inner and outer thighs is key for good flexibility. This pose in particular targets the muscles of your inner thighs and groin. If you aren't very flexible, doing this stretch regularly will change that significantly. Just five more seconds. Well done! Let's get back down on the floor, shall we? Sit down with for the next 30 seconds. And nailed it. Exercise number nine, sitting side bend. Half a minute on the clock starts now. Sitting side bend gives a good workout to your obliques, back, shoulders, and abs. It also helps relax your mind and relieve any stress or anxiety. Keep going. You're doing great. And that's it. Hang in there. We only have three more exercises to go. Half a minute on the clock starts now. Sitting side bend gives a good workout to your obliques, back, shoulders, and abs. It also helps relax your mind and relieve any stress or anxiety. Keep going. You're doing great. And that's it. Hang in there. We only have three more exercises to go. Savasana, corpse pose. One minute starts now. Despite its simple appearance, 
corpse pose is believed to be the most difficult one. To do it correctly, you need to be able to relax your body fully. Don't forget about breathing. And sadly, that's all. Exercise number three, the warrior. All right, enough talking. Let's do it. This exercise works your hips, back, and abs. It also strengthens your core. The deeper the lunge you do, the harder your core works. The warrior pose improves your balance as well. And th That's it! Take a deep breath, and let's see what the next exercise is all about. Alright, enough talking. Let's do it! This exercise works your hips, back, and abs. It also strengthens your core. The deeper the lunge you do, the harder your core works. The warrior pose improves your balance as well. And th That's it! Take a deep breath, and let's see what the next exercise is all about. Exercise number 11, Downward Facing Dog. Are we gonna hold this position? You got it! 30, off you go! This pose targets your legs, hips, back, shoulders, and arms. It improves digestion, too. Besides the physical stuff, it also has a great effect on your emotional state, helping you deal with the Question and stress. Don't forget about your breathing. Time's up! Props to you for coming this far with us. Let's conclude this workout with our final exercise. Pose number 6. Warrior 2 Like Warrior 1, stand with minute on the right side.
Warrior II stretches your hips and inner thighs while improving your balance tenfold. If you have any kind of neck problems, don't turn your head to look over your hand though. Just look straight ahead. Okay, now let's do the left side. Warrior 2 can also help improve digestion and relieve backaches. Not to mention, it significantly increases your stamina making you stronger both physically and mentally. Just a couple more seconds, and... Done. Pose number seven, the extended side angle. Start by getting into Warrior 2. Let's begin with the right side. This particular pose is designed to target the sides of the torso and strengthen the legs, hips, hamstrings, calves, shoulders, chest, and spine. So, basically, your whole body, not bad, right? And now, time to switch to your left side. The extended side angle pose also opens up the lungs, improves digestion, and helps relieve stress. Oh, and it can sharpen your mind, too. Try to focus on exactly what each part of your body is doing during the pose. Doing this regularly will make all of your problems with concentration disappear. And that's it for this pose. Take a deep breath and let's move on to the next one. Savasana, Corpse Pose. One minute starts now. Despite its simple appearance, corpse pose is believed to be the most difficult one. To do it correctly, you need to be able to relax your body fully. Don't forget about breathing. Sadly, that's all. Tadasana, Mountain Pose. We're going to hold this pose for 30 seconds. Let's go!
Tadasana is a great way to improve your posture and, of course, give a proper stretch to your back. A couple more seconds. Now you're ready for all the other exercises. Exercise number two, seated torso twist. Pose for the next 30 seconds. All clear? Then let's begin. This stretching exercise targets your back, abs, and obliques. It engages all of your abdominal muscles and even reduces the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. We're almost done here. And... Perfect! Now let's move on to the next exercise. Pose for the next 30 seconds. All clear? Then let's begin! This stretching exercise targets your back, abs, and obliques. It engages all of your abdominal muscles and even reduces the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. We're almost done here. And... Perfect! Now let's move on to the next exercise. Exercise number 8. Tricep stretch. 3, 2, 1, go! Tricep stretching targets your triceps, obviously, as well as your back, shoulders, and even your abs. This exercise improves flexibility and range of motion in your shoulders. Keep holding it just 10 more seconds. And stop. Take a breather, and then we'll move on to our next fat-burning exercise. Savasana, corpse pose. One minute starts now. Despite its simple appearance, Corpse Pose is believed to be the most difficult one. To do it correctly, you need to be able to relax your body fully. Don't forget about breathing.
And sadly, that's all. Start child's pose by sitting on your knee wax for the next 30 seconds. Child's pose is the best resting pose for any stress and tension relief. It's also good to do it in between difficult exercises to calm down your body and mind. Plus, it improves your digestion, relieves back and neck pain, and stretches your hips, thighs, and ankles. And time's up. Pose number 11, Cobra Pose. To get into Cobra Pose, start from the... Then let's get to it. This pose strengthens your back and opens up your chest and shoulders. It also decreases stiffness in the lower back. Do it carefully if you have any back injuries. In that case, it's actually better to stay away from this pose until you get better. Three, two, one. Nice. Exercise number 10, the bow. Hold this pose for 30 seconds. Are you ready? And go! The bow pose targets your abs, back, and hips. While you're doing it, don't forget to keep the tops of your shoulders away from your ears. If you do the exercise regularly, it'll improve your posture and tone your abs. Just 10 more seconds. And there you go. Pose number two, plank. Nothing can pump up the effectiveness of seconds on the clock. Go. Oh. The plank is actually one of the rare exercises that not only strengthen your core, but also work your entire body. It can be pretty difficult to hold, but controlling your breathing is a nice little trick to make this exercise a little easier. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. 